Right, so far so silly. Time now for Brennan to see how long it'll take Rory, his manager of over 15 years, and Fiona, his daughter for all of her life, the cop that the slightly mad way they're serving them is in fact good old Brendan. It takes longer than you may think. Um, I wouldn't mind a chicken cook sandwich, but no bacon. I don't want bacon. No oh, shit, we do it in the bacon. Will you? Yeah. Brand, and the Spartan water, please. I was so busy looking at my list. I didn't oh, yeah, see the card. Hi. Hello, then. No, we have, we're okay, we have a cappuccino. We're just gonna, we're just having a coffee, thanks. Okay. So I didn't see the... You're uh, not gonna order? No, we don't want food, we just have a coffee, thanks. Um, so, uh, I saw busy... Do you want to get an apple pie? No, thanks. Thanks, my name. Apple pie, look. No, I'm grand, thanks very much. Um, no, Connor, we have the bacon. No, it's back from water. It's back from water, please. The, the path, coins all over the place, the drama. Please don't move. Get on the house. Thanks a million. No, That's style. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. Here comes the phone. Here's the phone. Hello? Rory, how are you? I'm good to have a fight, anyway. Oh, no problem. I'm just sitting here now, just waiting. Um, did talking did you order yet? No, I haven't. Oh, well, I've tried to order. It's a fucking waiter. Jesus Christ. I just want to see if you can get me a good sandwich now without right. bacon. But anyway, I'll see. Do you want me to get your, 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 your cappuccino or anything? But I think they have a rash sandwich. If you don't have a row, you just don't order me yet. Just order me a coffee. Coffee, okay. No problem. I'll see you when you get Please. here. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're right there, please, Mew. Thank you. Do you want the cold sandwich without the bacon? Yes, please. No, I could. Have have <laughs> Can you do me a rash of sandwich? You said without bacon. No, you want a rash of sandwich. No, it's not for me, it's for the, the person that's joining me. He just rang me now. He wants a rash of sandwich and a cappuccino. And can I have. If you have a turkey sandwich. Turkey and bacon sandwich. Turkey and bacon. Turkey and rash of sandwich. That'd be great. And a cappuccino. A rash of sandwich and a turkey and rash of sandwich. No, no, come back, come back. A rasha sandwich, a turkey sandwich, um... Bacon. No, no bacon. A rasha sandwich, a turkey sandwich, and, um... A cappuccino and a Spartan water. Are you all right? God. Brent, she has no idea, and she's actually getting fucking angry with you now. You gotta put the one beside you, after that. No, we can by the time I have to put the shot, I'll kill him. <laughs> You're gonna have to try and take her coffee because she's gonna go yeah, fuck up the list if you try and take her coffee. Sure. Sorry, excuse me, she's not finished the cup. I'll be right there, please. Come on. Nice. You finished it. Yeah. If you're that much in a hurry to go, would you not take the cup as well and just fucking thing in the bleeding? Yeah, you're all done. Enough is enough, enough. It's not a fucking counselling. This is simple. He's having a ration sandwich, I'm having a turkey sandwich. He's having a cappuccino, and I'm having a sparkling water. And that's perfect. Thanks very much. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just go. 1680. What? It's a bit rude, don't you think? So we don't have to pay for the coffee. Yeah, well, why don't you give us our coffee back? Either what clothes, look? What clothes? Well, I'm not paying for something that we didn't even get to drink. I don't care what you drink it or not, you fucking ordered it. That's the story. Yeah, well, then you don't serve it if you're going to close for five minutes later. It say say it's probably your hormones, love, because you're pregnant. Come on, There's no need to panic. Well, I'm not paying your are you a bit? Are you a bit? Are you a bit hormone, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that to pregnant people. I'm not paying. Hey! One cappuccino. One cappuccino, one sparkling water. One cappuccino and one sparkling water, please. Can't hear you. I thought this is a fucking oh, easy day, you don't get it. <laughs> How long were you going to put up with this character?
In any ways, in order to get Amanda's family, we came up with a product we thought they might be interested in doing an ad for. An anti-aging cream from South Africa made out of rhino toenails called Saroof. We hired an actor to play an obnoxious South African director, set up a casting studio, and even built a little website so it would all look legit. So please welcome Big Sis, Mammy, and Daddy Byron. <laughs> Because our changing faces can help change the world for the better. Maybe you sort of spin your body as you're spinning your hair because you sort of twist in the chair. Oops. No. <laughs> so, the changing faces are changing faces. True. Good luck. Now, in comes Nana with her granddaughter, who's also up for the cast. Today, Nana. Oh, my granny came with the shower. That's fine. Hi, sweetie. All right. Nice. Uniform. Right. This uniform is... It's all right. <laughs> Maybe we get this lady into a uniform, eh? Yeah, Betsy, she might be a little old. <laughs> a little old for the school uniform. <laughs> Have you done this before, Betty, or is this your first time? Because this is Sinead's first, first time. the first time, yes. Yeah. And you're looking after her over I there. It's really good. Yeah, point, maybe, you know, like... Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the roof because it's... Okay. Right. This is horrendous. The roof because the world is worth it. Sorry. Do you mind just for one... Yeah, just once more. With 140 natural herb products and natural rhino nail extracts, the roof has taken Africa by storm. My mum got me naked. I'm really sorry. Look, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. We're going to get this done in no time. It'll be bad. She'll be fine, eh? She's very good. It's only her first cast. I oh, know, but with a limited amount of camera. But it's only her first. Tape. You have to leave it to the experts. They know exactly what to do. So it's only her first you relax. cast. You relax. It's only her first cast. I know, I know. These these guys, they know what to do. Yeah, so but you, it's only her relax. first casting. She's never been to one of these before, and she's a little I know, bit I know. nervous. Yeah. Do you want to the borders? It's all right. Do you want to <laughs> <laughs> stop. Grandma, would you mind sitting down, please? Sure. Guys, I'm so sorry about this, eh? Would you have any manners, please? Can that lady get outside for the world? Look, uh, please. I just want to see if you, anybody wants to just work as original. They're one of my favorites. Betty, I didn't ask you on no, the this isn't bingo, no, eh? I didn't ask This lady. isn't bingo, eh? Would you have... I'll have one later. You might need to suck on something. Thank you very much. Hasn't had any lunch. Oh, no, we'll play now. Do you not want to? I love this. It's so good. Are you sure you won't have one? She's she's a good singer as well. Right, if you talk one more time, you're out, eh? It'll be only about two minutes. If you can just stay quiet and say not a word. Because otherwise, everything will be spoiled. Oh, my God. OK. I can hear you. Keep calm. That's it. You don't have to shout at me. No, it's OK. Sorry. I can hear you. All right. Oh, my God. What a great task. Saroof, the changing face. Hello. Hello. See, where are you? Where, where are we now? Where are we now? Fitzwilliam Square. Fitzwilliam Square. We're in Fitzwilliam Square. Fitzwilliam Square. We'll be done in no time, right? Okay. I'm just sitting on the Warders Originals. <laughs> Jesus really Christ, sorry. Really sorry. Right, I'm done, eh? I can just do it on my own. I'm done. It's okay. I'm done. OK, time to go in and reveal Sorry. Nana is, in fact, sister, daughter, Amanda. This is before we go any further. Hi, uh, uh, Natasha. I'm Jason Byrne. Uh, mm -hmm. We do a show called Anonymous, sure. which is a hidden camera show, right? 
and uh, there's somebody here who's been fooling me the whole time. This is someone you know very, very well. We don't want you. And who do you oh. think this is? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He's somebody I know dressed up. Yeah. It's me, for God's sake! It's, a <laughs> <laughs> it's your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> It's Amanda. It's Amanda. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, Oh, my Oh, Oh, OK, an entire family got that's a first. Right. Now, how will the First Lady of Irish Showbiz react to Nana? Enter the Twink Meister. Yes, sir, if it's a South African anti-aging cream. Bring it on! You don't need it, though, eh? I, I believe me, at my age of life, it's either plastic surgery or polyfillip. So if the roof works <laughs> for the latter, I'm afraid of the first one, so I'll go for the second one. She said... She said... <laughs> okay, right on time, it's our Sinead and Nana. Very doing space. I lost too much, right? Right. Oh, she was just saying, get outside. Just to save some time, would you, might, would you like to step in? So, oof, the changing faces of changing faces. That was a good one. She does a very good singing dance. Nana, if she was from my theatre school, I'd kill you for talking during that. You're putting she it on. Shush. Stop. She does very her good off. singing and dancing, though. She, she she Nana, good. you're putting her off. She's doing great. It's her first she, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, but she, you're the one who's nervous, not her. She's doing great. Do you think I could just look at that monitor and just have a look at the monitor scene? Let's see if the sight's crossed. Hello. But where, whereabouts are we? Nana, do you know what? Right. Go on outside. Do that one again. So, so, oof. Because our changing faces can help change the world for the better. I put the phone outside. I left it out. Sleep it straight. We'll be here in half an hour. Look. I'm not leaving it outside so it doesn't run again. Oh my god, you see, this is where I thought she might have copped with this. No. You're holding what looks like a jack's roll wrapped around the table. So, oof. Because I get a cream that keeps my skin. Nana. 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 I have to wait outside. Right. Life in my own hands in I pop. Adele. Adele. I knew it. <laughs> I just knew it. Adele, had to let be me take that. Come here, just twinkle. Very long, lovely brown hair. Not Hilda Faye. No. <laughs> no, no. How good is this? I'll put you out of your misery. Amanda Byron. You're not Amanda Byron. Amanda Byron, you're wagon. How could you not? I was going to say, why don't you just fuck off, Amanda? <laughs> You know, you're really blowing this. <laughs> Fuck off now. What part of you don't be bitch are you not getting? Well, that's the best reaction. Oh, this is her. I'll, we'll read it out here because I need to okay, show. Okay, this is, this is what she got. Me, First of all, she got she got an okay man because she was a man for a while. Then good she became fella. a good fella. Then you were a very good girl because you got older. Very the way Gay Byrne would say it, right? And then you got highest yeah. honour ever as a granny. Well, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So having convinced Jerry Keaton to take part in a TV documentary about his son, we set Mick off to pick him up 25 minutes late. Sorry, you wouldn't sit on either side, would you? Uh, no seatbelt in the middle. Thanks very much. Oh my God, the silence is deafening. Checking his watch. Traffic was crazy, you know. Pretty sorry. You won't talk to him. I can guarantee everybody now that 
Ronestar is going to blow up. Ronestar is now sitting forward. Oh, that's it, Ro. Stay out of the bus lane, good man. You're going to get caught in terrible traffic in this lane. It's all the one of this hour, isn't it? It's the bus lane. Look at the flying through. Get into the ordinary lane, Ron. Go on. You drive the bus lane, you don't have to go behind traffic. Do you not know that? Traffic's mad, Joe. We are 25 minutes late. Jesus, we're in serious trouble. This, 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 this is a documentary. Hello? All right, Mick. All right, Tony, what's happening? Could you drop that money into me? I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, on board at the moment. Just I'm a bit stuck, you know, and I'm going to be heading away. All you know, right, mate. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Mick, I'll talk to you soon, right? Uh, all right, mate. All okay, right. cool. And just be two seconds, mate. It's just grabbing something here at the SO. <laughs> I just have to grab something in the SO station. Oh, here, hold on. I have to get another cab. Two seconds, mate. Two oh, no, seconds. No, no, we're late as it is. Would you pick it up another fare? No, 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 he's just standing there with his package. Two seconds, mate. Here. You're after fucking up this. He's losing it, he's losing it. <laughs> He is losing it. Brilliant. Right, where am I going? You have to oh, ring him. I'm going now, right? Just stuck it. That was great. Hello. Dad. Yeah. It's Ro, how are you? Listen, that, that company called me that you're doing that documentary with. They're just wondering where you are. Well, look, at, I'm after being on to the garage twice. Your man didn't come for me to 20 to 4. He stopped here in our train and he's gone running down the road. This is a complete dumbbell altogether. He wouldn't even drive the taxi that you got the in. I'll find out, I'll call you back. I'll find out, fight, fight, fight. This fella's a fucking dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> he won't even drive in the fucking bus lane. I better go. What are you fucking doing? You're really calling a big mess here. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I'm no point of me. Sorry, you fucked it up. It's crazy. It's a windmill lane we're going to. Windmill lane, yes. I think I know where that is. I think you know where it is. Sorry, mate. Why are you not doing the bus lane? Look at the bus lane! I can't understand you. <laughs> Excuse me, there's Windmill Lane in here. Did somebody tell you it was? There's Windmill Lane in here. Do you know where Windmill Lane is? Turn left, left again, and go straight down. It runs parallel across the way. Down off Pierce Street, down where? the back of there. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot, mate. Eventually, Mick found the studio and delivered a very wound up Jerry to the production team who are eagerly waiting to record his interview. Sorry, you fucked it up. It's serious. And of course, Mick took a seat at the back of the studio to watch the excitement unfold. Uh, he's very much Dublin on account of the wife and the kids been here, and he, no matter where he goes, proud, Daddy. he can't wait to get back, whether it be South Africa, Australia, or wherever. He's always glad to come back to Dublin. There's no way that man would lose the head in a taxi. Not a chance. Fantastic sense of humour. <laughs> yeah, never, you know, he's always in good humour, no matter how tired he'd be. Oh, I hope Jerry's sense of humour is as good. We love that song. As if the poor man wasn't broken enough, we asked him to sing along to a few bars of Father and Son. Oh, jeez, he's going to mind the song. He's going to mind the song. <laughs> Time to make a change. <laughs> Just relax, take it easy. You're so young, that's your fault. There's so much you have to grow. Here we go. Find a girl, settle down. If you want to get married with me. Okay, okay, I think we've done enough damage. I mean, what else could we say that would push him over the edge? Tell him he's on a hidden camera show, perhaps? And I know that it's How you doing, Ed? It's Jerry Keaton, isn't it? Hello. How you doing? I, I'm, I'm Jason Bourne, Jerry. Hey. Now, there's somebody in this room here who you, who you might know who, 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 was, who set you up. Now, he's a celebrity. Have you any idea who it might be? Can you see anybody around that might, be, uh, might look familiar to you? All right, Jerry. I'll bring you back in the taxi now if you want. This is your taxi driver here. <laughs> Have you any idea that this might be your son? <laughs> Dad, I got you big time. <laughs> got you big time. Well, you're lucky you had a taxi and I came back. I was on the verge of getting in behind the wheel and coming on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Keaton. Come on, well bring done, it up. Well done. Well done. While Jerry recovered, Mick had one more trip to make. As part of our camera crew, he was sent along to Gift Grubbs Mario Rosenstock 
who also thought he was being interviewed for the documentary. Right, with the man down the bag, time to set up a mate. And not just any mate, but Nicky's best mate, Paul. Nicky really wants to get him good, so he roped in Lee to play our hood, Cahill to be mixed partner on the beat, and set up a drugs bust on the bonnet of Paul's car. Will Paul cop who the cop is? Will Nicky have the balls to arrest his best mate? So many questions. Bollocks, yeah. Here we go, yeah. We're Just chill out now, Jeremy. Just relax. Just relax. Relax. relax, I said. Go, go, go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Give me grand. Give me grand. Oh, deadly, deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Look at his face on him. Bundle him in the car. Stay there. Fuck off. It's all right. Relax, Jeremy. Relax. Tell him his range looks dodgy. Hey, we're going there. 05 Delta 39650 Open up the spoon, take stuff out of it! <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Golfer, huh? Yeah. He's taking it <laughs> Brilliant. Look at his car, Mr. Owen, no? Go ahead, eh? This is great. Look at him, he's so... We don't know what's going on. We have a problem with the reds there. What? We have a problem with the reds there, Mr. Owen. You stopped before, no? Never stopped before? No drugs in this car, no? You know that man in the back there? You don't know him. Come here, just come here for a second. <laughs> oh. Shut. Do you know him? I don't know. Have you ever seen this man before? I haven't been sure. I've never said lies in you before. <laughs> don't start telling lies, because they might be nice to <laughs> you, but I won't. Because I don't want to hear you. Just relax. 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 You're lucky there, fucking there. I'm not here as a bit of a huge in here, you know? Yeah, I think there is. This is your car. Yeah, my work car. Okay, okay, I'm going to be positive about that. So I've been involved in a big drug deal. Oh, okay. Come on, on your way, pal. Yeah. Give that to that fuck face there. So, how are we going to do it, Mike? What do we do with your car? <laughs> We're good looking, man. Is this a wind up? Should we arrest you now or should we take you home? Nick, yeah. Oh, God! Calm down, Mr. Rowan! Calm down! Alright, man. Lee, calm down. Let's go, man. Here, Paul. Jason Bourne, how are you? Hello, Nick. Come on, Nick. I was supposed to cook you and everything. And you were shaking, I was like, I can't do it. Good man again, Gareth. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to deck the young fella. I'm fucking worried. <laughs> they yeah. might be noisy, nice but I fuck them all. <laughs> right, so we now know Baz can do shy, but can he do obnoxious? Because that's what we require next as he sits beside his own mum and starts talking pretty vocally about her son. Bas Whammy or whatever his name is. Bas, Ash, Ash, whatever he is, Chinese. Why do they have Chinese fellas on the television? Do you know what I mean? She's or Polish or whatever she's he is. She's at the company. Whatever he is, like, he's a gobshite. I can't bear the sight of him. OK, bye, right, bye. 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 What was that? Unbelievable. You know the travel show with the three, the three gay lads yeah. running around? The big, the big lanky one, you know, that deck in Egypt, right? I think he's Chinese or, or he's... He's something, anyway, he's an orphan, right? And whoever, they, got, they adopted him. And then he's after getting a job here. He was on that celebrity, celebrity bonnet store. And he managed in Wicklow. He's more, he's more of a connection with Trenchtown than he has with Wicklow. Why would he be managing Wicklow? He's a nice guy. He's a little drunk for that. So how do you know? How do you know? How come foreigners are getting all the jobs in RT? Tell me that. <laughs> and he not a word of English and he an orphan. And he's living over here, probably, probably an illegal immigrant. Oh, I think you're talking about the wrong person. The fellow I'm talking about is Pakistani. He's not. <laughs> it's work, it's happening. Well, you're obviously an Irish woman, but sure, he doesn't even speak English. I heard he's from the Holy Land. That's, a, that's new to me. I think you're just looking for conversation. You're a bit lonely or something. Are you really his mother, by the way? Uh, just having you on, actually. Oh, yeah. I thought so. No okay. way. <laughs> Do you know, the only thing similar, I have the same teeth as him. 
see that? Oh, yeah. I have a gap in my teeth. <laughs> and I have the same kind of eyes as him. No, no. See that? And I do a very good impression of him. Watch this. <coughs> How are you, Ma? Very good. <laughs> very good. Yeah. It's me. Yeah, yeah, very good. Isn't it, <laughs> Ma, yeah. it's me, really. Oh, yeah, great. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. Yeah, Point up to the camera. Point up to the camera here. The camera. It really is good. Oh, yeah. It yeah. is, Ma. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. It okay. is. I know you yeah. took a lesson. <laughs> no, she no. doesn't believe you, man. She doesn't believe it. No. It is me. Look, it's a mask. He's joking. I'm winding you up. It's for a show. Oh. I set you up for a show. <laughs> <laughs> for this next bit, we wanted to get Baz's two mates from How Low Can You Go, Mark and Michael. Knowing how well they know him, we needed to be careful. So we said we were for a PR company that wanted to meet them about an upcoming ad campaign. Basically, the great outdoors is we're trying to suppose, reinvent it a bit okay. and give it a younger profile. Cool. Um... And would they be looking at us, what, canoeing or something? Is uh, it? Or? Well, to be honest... It was all appearing pretty normal, but our waiter decided he had to clear the restaurant. Yeah, put that right up. OK, start taking the shit off there now and clean yeah, their table. Thank you. Just say close, close. Close, close. Close, okay, close. Yeah, we're just meeting somebody else. So, yeah, we'll be a few more minutes. We'll be out in five minutes. Thanks. Here comes Mikey. You Sorry, close, close. Excuse me. Nice Sorry, no, I don't go, but it's all right. You're going to attack me. Say you're close, close. No more. Go no, away. So bye bye. Nice to meet you. Nice Say bye bye. Nice close, close. close. Sorry, close, close. Don't worry, I'm just leaving them and we're, we're all leaving. Do you want to order? No, no, I'm all right. Thank you. Baz, go back over and take her chair off her. Close, okay. close, close. Well, while you're tidying up those tables, we'll Take we'll the chair now, Baz. Take minutes, it out, please. I will promise we'll leave. Take the chair out, Do you want to clean this table, is it? <laughs> I don't think there's anybody home. <laughs> take the chair out. Move the chair or get uh, Mikey. Excuse yeah, me. <laughs> don't do that. No, no, close, close. Uh, excuse me, you can't physically move somebody. Close, close, close. close Go on, Baz, keep close, going, close. keep going. Um, Okay, just give it one. Is this guy okay? Go on, keep doing Sorry, it. Keep doing it, Bob. Look, I'm fine here. Look at Mike, he's gonna go on the bus. Keep it going, Bob. Keep it going. Take it more, take Sorry. it more. Are you threatening? Late. No, he's not. Um, oh, did you take it you, more, Bob. Sorry. Are you his boss? Close, close. Sorry. Should I ask him to leave his room, please? Grab a big time. Excuse me. <laughs> police! I'm calling the police. Close, close. <laughs> no. Okay, let's. Is your manager here, please? Yeah. Hang on, yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mikey. Mikey. Mark. How is? Ah, you. It's not bad. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Close, close. Oh my god. Oh my god. You very, very aggressive. <laughs> Did you know that? No. Oh. you're going to go back and bad she was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's the pile's got. But can we get her dad? He's a very smart fella, so it won't be easy. Anyhow, God loves a trier, so try we will. We told Chris we're making a science TV show called Science Schmience. And on it, we're doing a story on a Trinity science student with an anxiety disorder who uses his music to calm her down. In fact, it's been so successful, she's actually done a whole project on it. So as a treat for her, we thought it'd be nice if her hero came along to surprise her. Only, then we thought, we might just turn a surprise on Chris de Burger. We're waiting to meet Aideen. She is a massive fan of yours. I hope she's not going to fall over or something. Well, me Don't, either. <laughs> I might have to give her mouth to mouth, you know? <laughs> so, obviously, she has no idea that all of this is happening. You'll wait behind the curtain, and when you hear the music, you can come out and say hello. It's interesting, because for me, um, I've been involved with music therapy for more than 20 years, okay. um, not only in Ireland but in the UK. Mm. And I'm highly aware of the importance um, 
for so many people, perhaps, who, if they have difficulty in sure. learning or, or understanding, because music is literally the international language. And mm. to go into, particularly for seriously handicapped people, to go into a hospital where um, they cannot actually communicate, but seeing them for the first time breaking out by picking up, it's like the dawn of man, you know, mm. 2001, the Space Odyssey. They pick up an instrument and they bang it and a noise, and you see the smile coming across their faces. I know. It's an extraordinary way of getting through. Um, even if it's, they don't have to be handicapped, they could be somebody who's traumatised by something or other, mm. and they can make music. Music brings them through. And I think this is actually what's bringing Aideen through, this kind of difficult time yeah. she's having. Yeah. She's trying to deal with college, she's coming from the country. No, I'm looking forward to this. It'll be feel good, yeah. I hope. Good, I hope so. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Cool. Good luck. Well, uh, you can, if you want to just head on behind the curtain. I'll go behind uh, the curtain, take off my clothes. Is that what you're like? Sure, yeah, sure. if that's what you're up for. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Science. Schmiles. So you're very welcome to uh, part two of Science Schmines, the show that puts the laughs into labs. Now, uh, we all know that music can be the source of so much, from joy to sadness. There really aren't many emotions music can't provoke, but did you know that it can actually make you confident? Aideen, you are very welcome to the show. We're delighted to have you. You're a very busy lady. You're completely immersed in your studies in Trinity College Dublin at the moment. So tell us a little bit about your research. Well, it's actually quite simple. Um, I'm, I'm by nature a very, um, very shy, underconfident person. Um, but I've discovered that if I, if I listen to music, um, say before going into a lecture or perhaps even a job interview, or I just feel suddenly so much more confident, the shyness goes, I, I feel like myself. And I actually, I mentioned it to my lecturer um, a while ago and, and he suggested I do this research into it. Do you not find it difficult when you're sitting in a lecture hall to kind of take in what the lecturer is saying whilst listening to music in your head or how do you kind of process all of that? But I just sort of hum it. Okay, okay. And is, is there a particular tune that you're listening to in your head right now that's helping you deal with the situation we're in? Oh God, yeah, I couldn't do it without it. I, oh God, yeah, absolutely. Really? Well, in likeness? What tune is it? <laughs> It's, it's Lady in Red by, by Christa Berg. You're a bit of an old romantic, Aideen. Mm. Is there a reason for that particular tune? God, I just love him so much. I've been mm. such a fan for so, so many years. And there's, there's just something about the way he puts stories into his songs that just gets me. Oh, I okay. love him, like. Lovely. Have you ever met Chris? Oh, God, no. God, he wouldn't notice me. Um, I, I actually saw him once walking down Grafton Street, mm -hmm. and um, he, he just walked on right past me. And I swear, I just stopped and I froze. I feel, felt like I'd fa fallen over, really? and I, I was shaking with the nerves, and God, no, I couldn't have gone up to him. I couldn't have said anything. Oh, no, he did. Oh, God, no. OK, well, listen, why don't we listen to a little bit of Chris right now? So you just then hum along, is that? He's my hero. Do you feel okay? Yeah. Is she okay? Thanks. Hey, Chris, I don't know if you know so who sorry, I am. So I know exactly who you are. 
I mean, it, that is a real TV presenter over there. That's Sinead over there. I know that. And then those over there are actors there. And I know that. The lady over here is not who you think you are. I know exactly what's going on. And do, who do you think that lady is? Um, somebody I probably know quite well. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> but you still did it like a dog. How do I look as Adrian Cowley? You look fantastic. <laughs> but I didn't know it was Rosanna, I have to say. Oh. Yeah, yeah, really got me there. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> I have to say, there was a very convincing piece of acting. <laughs> so that's what you're at today. Yes. Did you know her? Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Berry, Rosanna. Okay, so I've decided to call up to me ma, tell her I'm from the Corpo and that we need 10 grand from her because she's got coloured these stones uh, put in her drive. Will she cop? Eh, uh, no. Not like really. good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. We haven't heard from you now in a while. What are you talking about? We sent uh, a letter from the council. From the council. Uh, it was just, you see the, the pavement that you have here? If you just come out here and have a look at the pavement. That's nothing to do with the council. Uh, these were council houses a long time ago. You know, the minute you touch your driveway, there's a 10,000 levy on the driveway if you're going for the colour these stones. What sort of crap are you talking about? It's a new thing with the government. You know the recession. No you know the recession. No the recession's it's Listen, hitting us all. We had this done it's long hitting us recession. all. It's hitting us all. I'm it's only doing the my job. Biggest load of SH1T. Shite. No, I'm not Is saying. it a big load of shite? No, I'm not It's saying. a load of shite. If you just grab the other side of that, just let me have a look Every at that. Every house along here. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's way off. That's way over. That's that's buying in the ten grand levy. Go back to those cowboys you work for, because there's. there's oh no, we don't work for cowboys. No it's the council. I'm just going to measure that there now. Hang on a second. If that matches that and it matches you, you're definitely in the ten grand. Sixty-six Would inches. Just get away from the door? I never heard such now what kind of height? What kind of height would you don't be now? Bloody stupid. What would you measure me for? It's only a little measure. Just, yeah, just you know, keep your head straight. Do, do, do you know it's the hairdo. It's the hairdo. All we need now is your signature and we'll be out of here. Listen here. I wasn't born yesterday. I don't sign any. Are those stones loose? No. <laughs> no. Those stones are all over the place. If there was a young fella coming in here hopping. Listen, would you pick up your if he was coming in here hopping. Would you go? Hopping away. Would he fall over? Rude, I'm going to close the door. I don't know how and long you're in this area. I don't know how long you're in this area. Well, if you know Paddy up but in Beavers, I just need a couple of names of houses. Oh. Now, I just need names of houses. I'm not telling you. I just need a phone number, Mrs. Bourne. I will not give you a phone number. Just a phone number. No, 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 don't be silly. Just a phone number, Mrs. Bourne. You're getting on me nerves now. Well, listen, do you have planned permission for the conservatory? No. Do you have planned permission for the spiral staircase? No. Do you have planned permission for... What? Listen, drop a hundred euros into my pocket and I'll say nothing. Listen here, who do you think you are? Government. I wouldn't give you a euro. Give us a cup of tea and a Swiss roll. Give you nothing. A fake roll. No, no. A custard cream? No, don't. And Would you ever... We need to sort this out, right? Spiral staircase, conservatory... Start using the, box, voice. the box room up there doesn't have any, any, any. <laughs> I'm not, it's only. It's only <laughs> say hello to Hector. I'm, I'm looking at Hector. I didn't see you for two seconds. You're an idiot, ma'am. And the eyebrows. And look at you. I'm not sorry. Yeah, Why are you just throwing that? Look at the stage. Well done, Mammy. Well done, Mammy. Well done. Mommy. Well done. Ah, look. Now, just to spread the family humiliation, I thought I should set up me father-in-law. So, here he is, the poor man's helpfully come along to pick up my young fella like the proper granddad that he is. Only there's a bit of a delay as Jim Keegan decides to move on a local misfit. Or a f***ing n***er as I know. You don't know this fella, no? No, I Hello? Hello? I wonder how to move. He doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> it's working brilliantly. <laughs> He's just laughing like a typical. Just go grab it, just 
No, he's clearly saying his heart is bad. He's saying he's got a bad, weak heart. <laughs> Look at his legs. There we go now. That's, that's it now. It's all done there, no? You know, you could have helped me just a little bit. No, no, in the first place, it's not my job. And he shouldn't be in that for a start, OK? But he shouldn't be lying. He shouldn't be lying over there. Hang on a second now. I'll just... How yeah, can I train you to no? And he's training. I was in the army for 40... 40 odd years. There he is now. He's done now. He's off the chair. He's off the chair. Well, it's not a big problem, is it, him being on the chair, yeah? Well, it's just he's off his head on... Sklink. I mean, I'm in charge of this area here, but... All you had to do was help us. That's no great. That's no I great. I have a bad back. I have a bad I know, back. I know, I have a bad back too, but that's no great. Move. You reckon I should have left him on the chair? You should have left him on the chair. You should have called for an ambulance or a police. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll put him back in the chair then. I'm not, I'm not getting complaints on my first day. Oh, me fuck. I, you know, I can't get complaints on my first day. Turn it on again. Huh? Oh. <laughs> look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him. It's brilliant. Can I get him a cup of coffee? No, no, we'll sort him out. Will you? Well, how much is coffee here? Do you have any money? I have, but I don't know whether I'll be able to lend it to you or not. Do you have, uh, do you have any money for, uh, for golfing? Are you getting, oh. Do you have any money for golfing? Do you have any money for for golfing? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> for you, like fucking you. <laughs> that was the best I've ever seen in my life. Look at your man, look. Brian. How do you think he Brian. feels? Brian. Look. Are you all right? Hey, Brian, say hello to Eddie, Brian. <laughs> Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug here, quick. Give up for the father-in-law. Yeah.